Good afternoon, Britannia. A few weeks ago, a month ago, the last time we were in Westminster, I talked about the crisis of birth rate. I urged all British Christians to start having babies that night. <laughs> Hands up if you've actually done it. <laughs> not many. I did warn the men not to have too much beer that day. <laughs> all right. There's a bit of confusion here today. Some people out there don't know exactly why we are here. There's a small group of far-left activists, champagne socialists, who've done a gathering. There's a gathering nearby in Westminster. They call it a counter-protest. Usually you do a counter-protest to a protest. This is not a protest. This is the Festival of Britannia. One, celebrate this country and its values, but also talk about the threat. Of course, this kingdom, this country is still one of the best countries in the world. You know how we know this? We got millions of people from around the world who still want to come here legally <laughs> and illegally. You can't blame them. The problem is that the system and the establishment have not been defending our values. So. You can't expect the newcomers, even if they want to integrate, you can't expect them to do it easily. It's our job to make a positive case for Britain, to put people who are from here first, look after your home first, the British natives first, and support other patriots in other countries as well, from America to Israel, Canada to Australia. Now, to say one thing that's a little bit more negative, we have a lot of threats. We've got external threats. We've got the ideological threats. We've got Islamism, everything, wokeism. But I think our biggest, our worst enemy is ourselves, our own society. A lot of people are complacent. Some people in the establishment are complacent because they don't care. We have to make a positive case. Right now, this movement that we've started, thanks to Tommy and everybody else, is about changing the culture. Stop talking about politics. I know a lot of people talk about politics. It's not about politics, it's about the culture. While we do that, the role of media is important. That's where I come in, and other people like Paul and many others. We spend a lot of time criticizing the corporate media like the BBC, Sky News and all that. But the system plays you all the time. They give you new channels. GB News, the home of free speech. Allegedly, talk to me. These channels, who are supposed to be counter channels, have banned some people on this stage today. They boycott us. They want you to think they are different to the corporate media. There are some good people working there, some good presenters. They don't have the freedom. Ofcom, the advertisers, the corporate money behind them, they don't have flexibility. And that's why. We are here. No, no, yeah, TV is growing because of you guys. Paul Talk is growing because of you guys. This guy. I want to say a massive thank you. Once again, go home, have babies. Hamai is Husi. And we are the media. Yeah, follow him, man. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him.